Firearms are now the number one killer for children and teens, according to a new study by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. With that, President Biden is tackling policy here at home. He announced earlier this month a new rule on ghost guns, weapons that are untraceable. Our Margaret Faust talked with two who are passionate about gun rights in North Carolina. Meet Rudy Cartassi. He is co-owner of Rad Industries, a gun shop and shooting range in Burlington. This is Becky Cartassi, executive director of North Carolinians Against Gun Violence. They both want the same thing, people to stay safe from violence. My, none of us are monsters. In all of our industry, none of us are We are human beings just like everyone else, and we have hearts too. Any loss of life is tragic. People who are killed are other people's children. They're other people's brothers and sisters and aunts and un uncles. Where they disagree is how to prevent violent gun deaths. Cartassi says the answer is for people to arm themselves with guns. If somebody sees a, you have a firearm, they're probably less likely to do anything. It gives them that, that, that pause to say, hmm. Kirstas says the answer is enforcing laws so that guns don't end up in the wrong hands. Felons, people who have a dangerous um, past and people who are a threat to themselves or others. Those are um, clear cases where people you know, just should not have guns. According to the Alamance County Sheriff's Office, in 2019, guns were the leading weapon used in robbery, murder, rape, and aggravated assault. There is no reported data on ghost guns in Alamance County. Ghost guns are sold in kits like this. The kits contain parts that, when assembled, will be a weapon. But because the kits contain parts and they're not a weapon yet, customers don't need to pass a background check to purchase the kits, and once assembled, the weapons won't have a serial number on them. Biden's rule will change this. These guns are weapons of choice for many criminals. We're going to do everything we can to deprive them of that choice. And when we find them, put them in jail for a long, long time. Biden's proposal will require background checks and serial numbers, but it will neither ban the guns completely nor increase the penalties for crimes committed with them. Kirstas says she supports Biden's proposal, but Cartassi is worried that this is the beginning of more restrictions to come. Margaret Faust, Elon Local News. This new rule is expected to take effect in August of this year.